Patrick Reese and you're at popularity. Looking back at the album, 100,000 Pieces, are you still satisfied? Absolutely. I'm more satisfied as time passes on because I'm less uh, in tune with all the little details. Were you ever nervous about returning with the solo album or is releasing music always a joyous experience? Um, I never really get nervous about uh, putting it... Yeah, I, mean, I guess I, there is a part of me that always wonders, like, how it's going to be received. But um, I think, you know, I, I try to stay pretty selfish about it in the sense that I, if it's something I'm happy with, then I kind of don't really care to stress myself about how other people are going to perceive it. It, it is going to affect me. Uh, and my livelihood, but I don't, uh, as an artist, I'm not, you know, I don't get nervous about people's opinions. To you personally, what qualities did all the songs on the album share that made you choose them to go on the album? Um, just to kind of like, um, this kind of thing where there was no labor like where the songs just came naturally I didn't have to think or force like or what's the chorus going to be try a bunch of things and it wasn't like that at all it was really like the song is done the songs came together really quickly and I'd written a whole bunch of songs uh, that that weren't that way and they just didn't make the cut Working on tracks, are you ever surprised at how good they become? Are there any songs that surprised you on the album? Um, the Eyes of Isabel was a big surprise for me uh, because it was this song that I'd written, like a folk song. It was just a, you know, I was like, I don't know how I'm going to make this anything other than just me and a guitar. And then uh, it, one afternoon, I just, it all came together in my mind and I recorded it and I was like, whoa, I did not expect this for that song. Songs that I didn't see how they would exist outside of just a man with his guitar. Mm -hmm. Did you have a vision going into the album at all or did you just kind of let the pieces fall where they may? I, my, my only mission was to not limit myself to what it sounded like I didn't like I didn't care if it was mellow or heavy or both or I didn't push it in any direction I just let it be its own thing and um, that was a bit of a new thing for me because I usually go into an album going oh, I want to make this album feel this way or feel that way and this one was just about letting it just be its own thing what do you find to be the most difficult part of the creative process? Um, honestly, it, it's usually things that people might think are menial, like, you know, sequencing the album, you know, what order the songs are going to appear in, or, uh, you know, just things like that, that are the, the parts that I end up stressing out over, or the artwork, or the, uh, you know, just the aftermath They're like oh we have an album now you have to uh, put it together how do you know when a song is going to be good I I just listen to it I mean I, I record the I, I, I record the song and like it usually happens on my on my voicemail or on a voice recorder on my phone and I record the idea and then the next day, I, or a week later, I don't even remember. I'm like, I think I recorded something the other day, and I go back and listen to it. And every time I listen to that idea, I don't remember it. It's like I'm hearing it for the first time, or like as if somebody else wrote it. And I, because of that, completely forgetting it, uh, I, I'm able to listen objectively and be like, oh, this sucks, or, or this is great. You know, it's, just, it's like it's not even my own at that point. Do you find it hard to listen to other music now? Like, do you find that you're more critical? I think I'm, I'm less critical now than I used to be. When I was younger, I was, I was just programmed to hate everything. 
that I heard. I was just really angry at what was going on around me. And uh, now I, I, I'm able to draw some inspiration from, you know, even things I'm not crazy about, I'll be like, well, I really like the way that snare drum sounds. I'll, I'm looking for things to like now when I used to look for things to dislike. My outlook a little different. What are you trying to open people's minds up to with your music? Um, nothing, nothing in particular. I'm just trying to expose myself in a, in a very real way uh, and just, you know, not put up a front of being cool or tough or anything like that and just, um, you know, hoping that that connects with people that are uh, not really up for being bullshitted anymore. Who or what do you think has helped to shape you? the most in the last year? You know, there's been a lot of things, you know, there's been, uh, in my personal life, just been, you know, a lady that's changed my life and uh, in my, in my creative life, there's been a lot of inspiration from different places that aren't necessarily musical, but visual. What are your hopes for your music? Sustainability. Like, I just want to make music. I don't care about old Bentley, you know. I just, uh, I want it to reach people. I want people to be happy with it. I want to be able to continue to please those people. What do you feel has been your biggest challenge as an artist? Um, you know... Uh, not having to get a job on the side. That's been, you know, something I've been able to do for a long time now. And it's, but it's a challenge. It's always a challenge. You're always like, you know, on the fence. At this point, what do you fear most? You know, my fear is always, it's always been the same. It's that I'm not, you know, like, it's, Inspiration is random. I'm at the mercy of it. I don't know how to sit down and write a song. Uh, I'm not a method writer. I'm not like methodical. I'm not a tech technician. I don't understand the process of writing a song as a skill, the craftsman. It just comes to me from a random place. And the fear is always that that those songs may not show up at my doorstep. You know, I don't. I, I don't know when the next one's going to come in or how it's going to happen. So it, I've been living with that fear for forever. Do you see making music as something that's magical? It's definitely something I don't understand. Uh, I don't understand really where it comes from. So I, w I wouldn't go with the word magical, but I would. I would it's something, you know. Do you always feel like you're continually getting better? I believe that there's always going to be some avenue of growth, you know, and like I, 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 you know, I know that some artists kind of peak and then and then plateau and then maybe even go back down a little bit, but I think there's always somewhere where you can grow, and uh, I try to focus on those things. And do you have any final thoughts, anything to say to the readers of popularity? Just uh, to listen to music.